time I hear him is like when he pulls the bolt. Oh, what the fuck kind of lag was that, dude? I rubber band like a motherfucker. Oh, hi there. Oh my god, what the fuck kind of lag was that? Oh my god, what the fuck was the lag? What the fuck is this lag? What's going on guys, AZ Gaming is back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the beautiful masterpiece of an update that we just received from Critical Force to our favorite game to talk shit about, Critical Ops. So, if you guys haven't noticed, the new update that I've made a video about just released and it is such an amazing update. I, they did such a great job taking the feedback that they've received from beta stage of the update and changing everything about it. Oh wait, that would actually insist that they're a good company. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let, let, let's scratch that. This update is the buggiest, buggiest update I've ever seen. Now this is funny to me because Critical Force is always, always bad about fixing the problems in the beta stage of the update before it comes out to an actual game. What is the point of you having a beta stage if you're not gonna change anything within that stage? People are joining test flights, you know, uh, they're joining these beta servers of the games to test out the new updates. They post videos, they give their feedback, and you are just like most of the people on the internet. Oh, they're just hating. The update is good. They're just hating, man. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, they're just hate. No, we're not fucking hating, you stupid fuck. Might sound like I am. Maybe because I, I like to talk shit about anything and everything. But whenever you don't give the full support to the beta stage of the game, or the beta stage of the update before you add it to an actual game, how do you expect changes to happen? See, the, the whole point of a beta, right, and many, many games do this, the whole point of the beta is so you can let people test the game. Whenever the game is being developed, they have testers who are playing the game, who are testing everything in within the game. Now the problem with that is, they have to pay those testers to play the game. As an amazing of a job as that sounds, they literally get paid to play and test out the game. Now, if you open, you know, the game and make a beta version of it, you can have thousands if not millions of people playing and testing the game and reporting their feedback of it. And then you see, okay, so we have so many reports of this problem, we have so many reports of this problem. Okay, let's note those down and fix it before it comes out to an actual game. That actually would make fucking sense, now wouldn't it? Now what Critical Force Entertainment does, they put out these beta updates, right, for test flight servers, for, uh, you know, Android developer, whatever the hell, and, uh, Basically what it is, it's early access to the actual update. They never change anything. They never have changed anything. And here's the problem why it wouldn't even matter. They never give full support to an actual beta stage of the update. If you've noticed, the beta stage of updates is always the buggiest you will ever play it. It always lags. Server support is horrible. You only have a few people, but I don't mind it if I could actually play on my own good server. But for some reason, I don't know why, the server that's supposedly in US 3, why don't you make it like US West? Why don't you make it regional? Like, so I can know where the hell the server is located and not numbers. There are no numbers in a compass. It's North, West, South, East. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Why would you put numbers on there? Make it regional, like, you know, Northwest, North servers, you know, East servers, Southeast, whatever the hell you want. That would make sense. 
but you are a company with little sense to spare. And um, yeah, <laughs> I kind of ran that fucking point to the ground. Anyways, I, I don't understand how they were able to completely overlook this and the complete bugginess of this update is just making it almost unplayable. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating here, but as you guys see from intro clips, I had more clips than that that just didn't seem to record it. Um, and this happens to multiple, multiple people. I've been playing with a few people and be like, yeah, it happens a lot. It happens more than I've ever seen it happen before. You'll be shooting at the guy, the game freezes, he teleports you back, and then you're dead. It makes no fucking sense, and I don't get it. This is something that should have been seen in the beta stage of the update, but since they don't actually support the beta stage of the update, it is hard to see if there's an actual problem, or is it us being too fucking stupid to actually give the full support to the beta. Think of it like this. Let's say you're writing a paper, right? You're writing an essay. And then you're gonna give it to, like, your friend or your, uh, your professor or teacher's aide, right? To proofread your paper. But no, 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 no. You're not gonna let him or her proofread the entire paper. Nope, it's only the beta paper. Nope, you get to read one page. So, you know, he or she reads the page. Like, okay, cool, yeah, I like this page. And, you, and you're like, yeah, sweet, my paper is awesome. So he or she only proofread one page out of fucking five. You staple it all together, throw it in a little binder, and give it to the professor. And next thing you know, you get your grade bag and it's a fucking D. And you're like, wait, what happened? I, I had that person proofread my paper. How did this happen? I don't fucking get it. Are you this fucking stupid or ignorant? It doesn't make sense to me. Why would you ever do this? Give full support to beta. Then allow us to actually play the game. And for longer than, you know, a couple of fucking days. And then actually change upon the bugs and glitches that you have received from the beta before they actually being added to the full game. That would make sense. You would actually be able to create a solid product. It's not hard. It's not brain science. It's just a poor judgment call. I'm not claiming to be the fucking, you know, top tier coder. And I don't fucking know how to code game. But I do know how to avoid problems like these. You test them. And fix them. Something you tend to perceive it as like a test, right? It's kind of like the uh, all the security measures within the airport, right? Like you have to go through these metal detectors. And then you have to go through this. You have to run your bag through a scanner multiple times. You have to take your shoes off. Take your belt off. Take off your underwear. Spread your butt cheeks. At the end of the day, none of that matters. That is all a placebo effect. It's all basically dramatized theater that is supposed to make you feel safe. And that's what beta really is in Critical Force. It makes you feel like they're gonna fix this. They never do. You'd be like, oh, it's just a beta, you know? There's a lot of glitches in a beta update. It's okay, it'll be much better when it comes out to a full game. And then it comes out to a full game and you put your fucking gun in your head and you shoot it. It makes no sense to me. Anyways, I've been blabbering on way too long about this update. Let me know what you guys thought of this update. It's not bad update, but only a couple of apples can spoil the bunch. And whenever you glitch back and forth between rubber banding when you're trying to kill somebody, it is a nightmare. It is so frustrating because you don't have control over it. It is basically server saying, Nope, you ain't getting that kill. And then you've been rubber banded back, and then you're dead. So, Critical Force, do something about it, man. Change something. Actually, 
take control of the beta. I don't get what's going on behind the scenes, but I feel like at this point you guys don't really give a shit. I really feel like you guys don't really give a shit anymore. You've guys done what you guys wanted to do. Since the beginning you guys wanted to make it an esports game. And now you somewhat technically did. Is this it? You guys give up? You guys got bored or what? God damn it, man. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely drop it a like. Let me know what you guys thought of the update down in the comment section below. Share with your friend who might find this video interesting. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, have a nice day. It's fucking raining outside.